Long queues, lots of luggage and long waits. Welcome to silly season travel. Bryce and Ruby had daughter Coda in tow when they discovered their flight was cancelled 10 minutes before check-in. Now I've got to go home, unpack everything, go buy everything again for her for another day to come back again tomorrow. It's a joke. We now we're going to get an $80 Uber back home. Others were facing lengthy delays. Virgin have cancelled flights, they don't know why, and our one o'clock flight is now 9.30 tonight. The last two years I've flown with Virgin, Every single time that the flight has been cancelled or postponed for some reason. We just had enough. We just want to get home now. New data shows the chances travellers will face Christmas delays and cancellations remain high. Just over 64% of domestic flights arrived on time last month, and nearly 3.7% were cancelled. Better than last year, but far worse than average at just over 2%. Of the major airlines, Virgin had the worst cancellation rate, followed by Qantas and Jetstar. Unions say ongoing shortages of ground staff and lack of pilots are to blame. We need to make sure that those airlines are directing that money that they're making in profit back to ensuring that services for the travelling public are sufficient. Major airlines say they've scheduled extra flights over Christmas and summer to cope with an estimated 12 million passengers who are expected to fly during December and January. Qantas says it's also rostered on extra staff to cope with any potential sick leave. Travellers are urged to be prepared and remain patient. Alison Branley, ABC News.